Okay, this is the first of what I hope to be many AP Statistics tor to yeah, tutorials that I'm producing, and bear with me, this isn't the best one, but I hope it'll get better as time goes on. Anyways, today I'll be talking about the two different types of variables you're going to be dealing with in AP Statistics. They're going to be categorical and numerical ones. And the basic gist of these is that categorical data is anything that lumps a bunch of things together like a big region, a big area, you know, a type of, I don't know, let's say you're recording the blood type of someone, you know, that's that's part of a larger category of things. Well, numerical data is, just as it says, simply numbers, right? You know, like the number, if you're recording the weight of dogs, right? Let's say a dog weighs 99 pounds. That's going to be numerical data. It's not a category, it's a specific number, there's nothing else behind it. And within the numerical category, you have two other distinctions that you need to know about. You have discrete and you have continuous, and I'll talk about what those are later. First, I want to talk about how to tell the difference between categorical and numerical data. One of the tricks you can usually fall back on is that categorical data is always going to have to be expressed as a word. Like, take for example, I was recording the color of lines on this page, right? And, you know, what I would write down is, hey, the color of lines on this page is red. Well, that data can't be expressed as a number in any way, shape, or form. Unless you're doing it in, like, some sort of computer language, but that's irrelevant for the purpose of AP Statistics. All you need to know is that if it's only going to be able to be expressed as a word in the English language and nothing else, not as a number, then it's going to be categorical data. However, the same cannot be, t be true of numerical data. Just because it's a number doesn't necessarily mean you can assume it's going to be numerical data. For example, let's a common trick they like to throw at you is they'll pull out, let's say, you're recording a zip code, right? 90210. I'm pretty sure it's one everyone's familiar with. Now, at first glance, you might think numerical data because, hey, it's a number. But you have to ask yourself, when looking at specifically any data that appears to be numerical, what does the data actually represent? In this case, you know, we a zip code actually represents a large geographic area, right? You know, there are homes... There's swimming pools, there's Bin Laden's hideout somewhere in Afghanistan. The point, the point is, it represents a large area that's essentially a grouping. And because it's a grouping, it's a category, and so we have to say the data is categorical. Even though it's a number, because it represents a larger grouping of things, we say it's categorical. Now, for numerical data, I told you about the distinction between discrete and continuous, right? And for this, for in order to remember this, I just want you to ask the question whether or not you can have half of a data point you're recording. Let's say I was recording the number of dogs at a shelter, right? And here are the dogs. And let's say there's one, two, three dogs, right? But let's say, um, you know, this dog dies, and for some reason there's only half of it left, right? Well, you can't record that half of a data point because that's not really a dog, you know, that's just a dog's leg in the back of him, right? So you couldn't count them all together, there'd only be two dogs. So could you have half of a data point? No. So the data must be discrete. The data can only be an integer, a whole number. You can't have half of it, you can't have some decimal portion. It needs to be a whole. In this case, you can only count whole dogs, you can't count half a dog. Now, let's say you're measuring something else. Let's say you're measuring weight. You know, the weight of a single dog, or the weight of a dog in each pen at a shelter, right? There's my shitty penmanship. You are going to have to ask, can I have half of a data value? Well, you can have 149.5 pounds for a specific dog, right? If you can have a .5, then you know your data is going to be continuous, because you can have a half. You c And you could potentially... Extend this to, you know, 145.999. It could just go on forever. The, it's an infinitesimally... It could just go on... It could go on forever. And that's why we call it continuous. Because it can get infinitely precise or go down for any more digits. But as long as we know we can get that .5 in there, we know that... We know that the data is going to be continuous. Ah, uh, continuous. Anyways, I hope my next vids will be better. But hopefully you got a good understanding of what categorical, numerical, discrete, and continuous all is.